tag team contest set for one fall with a 15 minute time limit. Introducing first from Dallas, Texas, Jacqueline, and from Los Angeles, California, Ivory. Ladies Legends Hall of Famers, Attitude Era Diva Pioneers, however you want to look at them, Jacqueline and Ivory, they got it all. Former Ladies Legends, Tag Team Champions too, Wally. So, you think an Allison and Ashley from The Click got what it takes to win, or that maybe they could have Jackie and Ivory's numbers tonight? Because this is one hard team to beat. No, I'm not disputing that Christy, but I'm looking at the big picture, and that's everything you've said about Jackie and Ivory, plus the Click's naked long run in our WL, their long-running feuds. With the Angels of Anarchy, Next Gen, and other ladies tag trios, Allison Kinsey and Ashley Renee aren't exactly untested. Uh, hun, but these are Hall of Famers, Wally. I say, it'll give them an edge. A big one. And their opponents, accompanied by Amanda Powers, and representing the clip from Zellianople, Pennsylvania, Allison Kinsey, and from Washington, D.C., Ashley Renee. Of course I haven't forgotten the Click and their history. They were one of the very first tag trios in RWL. The AAA club, Ashley, Allison, and Amanda have fought every tag trio there is, but it's just Allison and Ashley in a two-on-two -two situation, and you wouldn't think that's a big difference, but... When all you ever work is six woman tags, regular tag can throw a team off if they ain't used to it. You certainly have looked at this from all angles, Christy, and it is true, Jackie and Ivory certainly have lots more in ring experience than the click. Oh, but what the hell, let's just throw them together and see what develops. I'll second that happily, Wally. I'll tell you what else, fan loyalty is gonna be split right down the middle between these two great tag teams, but no matter whose side you're on, it's gonna be a match and a half. Here we go, both teams talking themselves up for this one, as we get underway. Game on as Allison, Kinsey, and Ivory start this one trading blows, and it's Allison making the first impact, taking Ivory down by the neck. Ivory trying to get some kind of a fence mounted, but Allison fully in control, whips Ivory to the corner, tries for a rear grapple, but Ivory slips behind Allison instead, delivers a kick, swings again, but Allison ducks out of the way, whips Ivory to the ropes, and catches her with a kick on the rebound. And Ivory wants to think it over a second, slides back into the ring, whips Allison to her team's corner, and Jacqueline Moore tags in for the first time, but first a little double team and a boot to the face for Allison. And just look at Miss Jackie, she's fired up and ready to go. Jacqueline tags Allison with a running elbow, delivers a stomp to the chest before standing her up again, kick to the gut, follows up with a few more kicks to the midsection before tossing Allison by. The hair, Jacqueline very aggressive since tagging in, Allison trying to regain control, counters Jackie, and look at this, spinning kick takes Jacqueline down. And Allison Kinsey, gonna take five tags in Ashley Renee, Ashley reaches Jackie and starts helping her up to her feet. And now both ladies trading stinging chops, but Jackie's got Ashley by the arm. Ashley whipped to the ropes, and Jackie missing the dropkick as Ashley dodges. The ladies trade blows again, and this time Jackie whips Ashley to her team's corner. But just a sec, Ashley with a kick, staggers Jackie, clubbing blow to the back. And now it's Ashley Renee, controlling the head of Jackie heading toward your click corner, flips her with a snap mare, rounds her up again, and Jackie's in trouble. Ashley laying on a nasty arm ringer and ends with a knee. Into the elbow joint to Jackie's in all kinds of pain, as Ashley tags out and in comes Allison Kinsey. Looks to me like Jackie's had more than enough of the click. Time for a little payback. Not so fast. Allison stalls with a jaw jacker. Jacqueline staggered. Allison misses the dropkick. Jackie misses a kick, but Allison tries it again, and the dropkick connects squarely. Allison, stalking Jackie who's made her way out onto the apron. Allison Kinsey, waiting, absolutely motionless, and Zang, tries for a right to the temple blocked and countered by Jacqueline, making her way back 
back inside. Close call averted maybe, but Allison's back on the case with a clothesline. And it's all Allison. Kinsey just now whips Jackie to her corner. And here we go. We've seen the click do this before, and they love doing it. Quick tags. Ashley and Allie taking turns putting the boots to Jackie. And Ivory too far away to do anything to help. And the click is gonna do a lot of damage to Jackie right here. And even the referee can't stop them from doing it. So naturally, they're gonna take advantage. Get away with whatever's possible too. Ashley Renee ends the double team assault with a low drop kick to Jackie's lower abdominal area. And who boy, Jack will and Opti lunch here. And Ivory saving the match for her side. But Allison Kinsey exacts a price with that swinging DDT on Ivory. Ashley moves in on Jackie. But Jackie ready for her. Flips out of the way and tags Ashley with a quick enziguri. Get something good going for her side. Whips Ashley to the corner. Jackie charging like a bull. But Ashley slips out of the corner spoiling Jackie aim. Ashley Renee in control now, dictating pace and location to Jackie, flips her down hard with a snapmare, set to drive a knee into her back, but Olay, Jackie deftly sidesteps the move, nobody home. Oh man, Jackie with her full body weight, brings Ashley crashing face first into the canvas, wildest face buster I've ever seen, and Jackie having to carry the load, with Ivory recovering, not in her corner by her tag rope. That's no good right there. Ivory needs to get back there to be available when Jackie comes for a tag, because it looks to me like the click might be more competitive than Jackie and Ivory figured. Looks like Jackie wants to keep Ashley Renee in that corner, Ashley refusing to stay put, but look at Jackie insisting she stay. Well, she's got her now, and what is going through Jacqueline Moore's mind here, staring intently at Ashley Renee. Ashley comes to Jackie goes behind quickly. Here it is, bridging belly to back suplex, but a rope break is called. No pin possible. Jacqueline still undeterred, watching Ashley close, ready to unleash some serious hurt. And holy Hannah, wraparound DDT masterfully done. Jackie, confident she's got a shot at a pin here on Ashley. But here's Allison Kinsey, breaks up the pin. This one's still in progress. And Allison, a one-woman army, taking a second to give Ivory some attention as well. But Ivory counters with a clothesline. Meanwhile, Jacqueline doubling down on that wraparound DDT a second time. But ho, Ashley quickly free before even a one count. And Ashley Renee suddenly battling back, slams Jackie down, and Ivory is stepping in. And Ashley gonna give Ivory some slam time to. Ashley Renee has taken both members of the opposing team to the mat, and that's impressive no matter where you're from. It's like we said before the match started Wally. Nobody's saying the click ain't got it going on for themselves. Look how they go after both members of the team on their own, like it's a handicap match. I think Jackie and Ivory might have underestimated their will to stand and fight. Well, that underestimation just proved costly to Jacqueline taking a top rope superplex from Ashley Renee. And this could maybe be a game changer. The longer Jackie isn't tagging in Ivory. Ashley wasting zero time rams Jacqueline into the barricade. Like that so much she's doing it again. And Jackie sinks slowly to the hardwood. Jackie struggles to her feet. And look at this. Both women try and miss the drop kick at the same time. Now it's Jacqueline fighting to get back in the ring and out of this risky business outside on the floor with the referee's count at five. But Jackie and Ivory still got enough experience in the bank to stage a workaround to their click problem. Count stands at seven. Jackie back in the driver's seat now. Slams Ashley head first into the ring apron as Jackie helps her up to her feet again. Count up to eight. And at long last, Ashley back in the ring as Jacqueline quickly slides back in after her. Man, would you look at these ladies go? Jacqueline from behind, belly to back suplex, and Jacqueline has to be feeling the effects of that superplex, but she is still in control of Ashley Renee and this match. Jackie gathers her up, but Ashley surprises her with a hurricane rana, and man, she and Jackie just battling back and forth, both trying to regain control of things. Both those teams are on fire. Jackie whips Ashley to her teams. Corner, Jackie moves in slowly, grabs Ashley by the head, goes up to the second turnbuckle, and lets loose with a spinning DDT off the turnbuckle. Count in ring lights, as Jackie covers for the pin. The referee goes to count and again. Allison Kinsey with a crucial last minute save. Ashley tags Jackie with a kick, quickly getting her to her feet again. And check this out right here. Ashley drags her down to the mat with a spinning armbar, but ordered to release the hold on a rope break. 
whips her into the corner one more time. Starts moving in on her slowly, maybe a bit too slow. Ashley Renee turns it around on her. And Ashley throwing all her power behind this Irish whip into her own team's corner. And Ashley isn't through just yet. Whips her now to the opposite corner. Ivory stepping back in, takes the initiative on a blind tag, spins her round for an atomic drop. But Ivory backflips out of the spot. Ashley turns around, catches an elbow from Ivory, and Ivory quickly standing her back up again and lets loose with a flurry of blows, kick after kick. Ivory just relentless at this point, but here comes Allison Kinsey in off the hot tag. Kinsey swings, misses. Ivory grabs her. Allison counters with a kick and lays down a sweet standing drop kick. Ivory drops, gets back up, gets another kick to the head. Allison doubles her over with. A kick and a lookout now. Allison with Ivory perched high in the power boat position. Allison takes Ivory to the corner and tosses her into it full force. But look at this. Ivory quickly back up. Again. And Coslam hits her with a sit-out face buster. Ivory slowly making the pin. Here's the count. And it is Ivory picking up the pinfall win for her team over the click. The time of the fall, 8 minutes and 48 seconds. Your winners by pinfall, Ivory and Jacqueline. You know something, Wally? I love being right. No disrespect to the click, but they weren't going to beat this tag team combination. I just felt that with everything I know about these competitors. I've always heard you have a special knack for knowing their WL roster. With a special eye on our ladies' division, you ought to be scouting with that kind of knowledge. And I will say, Allison and Ashley gave it everything they've got. But again, you just can't beat no experience Wally, and that's what put Jackie and Ivory over the edge enough to get the Duke in this tag matchup. Again Christio, I defer to your encyclopedic knowledge of the ladies roster, you really are one amazing lady yourself. And fans up next, main event time, with ladies legends dual champion Oscar and non-title competition with Crystal Gabor, when we come back in just a moment.